Uh, so hello guys and welcome to something a little bit different. I'm gonna be doing more types of videos like these where I basically just break down a lighting setup on a shoot in a pretty simple way using sort of overhead diagrams and also making a few annotations over the image so I hope some of you find this useful. So about two weeks ago I shot this little hair shoot which was sort of a mini editorial. Uh, we were going for four looks, four different styles and I'm really pleased with how the final images came out and I just wanted to run through the lighting with you guys. So recently I've been testing out a piece of software called Satellite and it's a really really useful piece of software which allows you to render your uh, render a 3D image of what your lighting setup will look like. So you basically set up your uh, lights in 3D space. So I've got a, uh, a beauty dish as the key light, a hair light, which is a big uh, softbox, and two, two strip lights. And as you can see, the, the 3D rendering is really accurate actually, and I'm surprised that more people don't know about this piece of software. On this next slide, you can see how close the uh, 3D rendering is to what is actually captured in camera. Uh, we've got a nice catch light in the eye, the, the glow on the hair, really nice soft shadow under the chin and under the nose. And yeah, all in all, I'm, I'm really impressed with uh, how the 3D render compares to a real photograph and this is in my opinion a really invaluable tool for pre-lighting without even having to go into the studio. So on the day the, the lighting setup changed a little bit. We introduced some silver reflectors rather than the uh, rather than the black polyboards that we were using originally. I kind of wanted to, to really define the cheekbones by using the polyboards but on the day, we didn't really need to. Her um, Shona's cheekbones were popping out beautifully with just the uh, the key light and reflector. So uh, I actually wanted to bounce a little bit more light into the hair as it was getting a bit dark. So what are we doing here? Well, we've got a uh, large Profoto umbrella, which is a modifier I use constantly, uh, being diffused by a big scrim. I like to to use the scrims rather than the diffusion sock as it gives a like a bigger spread of light when you uh, when you use sort of a 2x2 two two or 1x1 one one scrim. For, for me it just gives a, a softer, more flattering result. And uh, then we're bouncing, bouncing that light back up in a clamshell style with a small reflector which actually does, uh, does a lot for the image without it. Ooh, this area here is very, very dark. Uh, so this is a sort of a go-to setup I like to use for beauty and hair. Then overhead we've got the uh, got the big softbox. I think in in hindsight I would have preferred this light to come in a little bit more frontal in this area here. Is I think we're losing a little bit, a little bit of the shine in the shadow areas of the hair, but that's one to learn from. And then we've got a strip light on the back just sort of lifting Shona out a little bit from the backdrop. It's quite it's quite subtle, uh, not doing too much, but it's unfortunate I don't have images building up the lights one by one because it would really show you what this is doing. But it always helps to have a little bit of a strip light or backlight for hair photography. And then lastly, we've got this uh, silver beauty dish on the floor just facing directly up at the backdrop and creating a really nice uh, natural gradient. You can see that there's almost like a circular shape to it where it's darker on the edges and lighter around here. <laughs> you can see here actually that this is uh, how I was propping up the light. Unfortunately I didn't have a stand short enough to be able to get it right on the floor but this worked really well. If I put the modelling lamp on it probably would have burned the suitcase but um, <laughs> but yeah, no, I made sure that was off. As you can see, I've created kind of a box of light with uh, sort of multiple things going on. But uh, the key to this really is the uh, the light being 
shot in this beauty clamshell style. It's always extremely flattering on the face and uh, very good for hair as well. Overall, I'm really pleased with how these turned out. I probably would have done something a little bit differently in hindsight. Like I said, I would have had the, um, the hair like come a little bit more frontal, so it was a bit more even around the, uh, around the shadow parts of the hair and a little less harsh on the, uh, the top of the hair. But overall, I'm really, really pleased with how these came out. I hope you liked this video. If, uh, if you want to see more of this, just let me know. And uh, in the meantime, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and please check out my website if you get a chance.